going on a trip in my red spaceship. It's very hard. Why do I feel like there is hair all in my face? You rock me, mama, like a southbound tree. Good morning, everybody. I know it's been quite some time, but thank you for all being, I can't even talk, I'm so excited. Thank you all for sticking around. Um, I'm going on a trip in my red spaceship, my red van, Ruby. We're going to Traveler's Rest, South Carolina, which is about four hours from where I am now. Come join me. Sorry about the AC, but I've got to let it run. It is already so humid outside here in South Carolina. Um, so yeah, I'm on my way to Traveler's Rest, South Carolina for the weekend in the big red van. Yeah, I'm actually gonna be staying on the side of a mountain with my two sisters and brothers in Christ. Um, it's always nice to be around other believers, um, to be like-minded, to be equally yoked in a world so unequally yoked. So yeah, I'll meet you there in about four hours. Okay, you guys, I have you on my phone holder and my phone holder is very hard. Why do I feel like there's hair all in my face? It is very hard to like get a straight angle. So forgive me, I'm really trying here. Um, and it's not been four hours it's been five minutes <laughs> i actually am was across the street from my favorite coffee shop in town because they make the best pumpkin spice latte no there's nothing basic about me but i love a good pumpkin spice latte anyway so while i'm in line i thought i would just chit chat with you guys um why I really am starting the silent vlog series because that's not going anywhere. That is definitely going to be a thing. Um, why I haven't been traveling. I'm sure everybody kind of wants to know what's going on and when I'm going to get back on the road and what are my next steps. I'm going to go ahead and answer that question first. Um, I, I let go like none of us know when our next steps is and i am such a controlled type of person i want to control every aspect of my life and you just can't do that um god is in control and i always want his will to be done in and throughout my life and my family's life so trying to tell you that i have future plans yeah i have lots of them um however I kind of let God do his thing and I do my thing as far as just pray and tr always try to put him at the forefront of my life. Um, so yeah, my plans for the future uh, is to stay in South Carolina where my family is, where my grandkids are, um, my family, <laughs> uh, and uh, work full time and just continue to save and save and save. I rent a room in South Carolina. I am not planning to get my own place right now. Everything is really expensive. And if I plan to do anything um, as far as like buying land and building on that land, I really need to be diligent in how I spend my money. And spending $1,600 a month on a one bedroom apartment in Charleston, South Carolina is not in the cards for me. Um, I could do it. I don't, I choose not to do it because that is just not something that I want to do or live. I don't want to live spending 70% of my income on just a place that I never will be at because I'm trying to make 70% of my income. So yeah, that answers that question. Um, where have I been? I've been unplugged from social media. I do tend to 
get on Facebook, I'll re-download it on my phone, I'll check out friends and family, and then I delete it off my phone. Um, I've just been in a big season of solitude. Like normal. Um, and I feel drained from the world, so getting on any social media platforms, and, and if you guys comment, especially Paul, I love you brother Paul, always praying for Australia, I love you brother. Um, it's just really hard to continue to comment and, and um, keep up with everything right now. I just feel really distant. Um, the world is just so loud for me. Um, so yeah, that answers that question. And the silent vlog series, I just thought that was super cute, especially because the world is so loud and everybody feels like I don't know if everybody feels this way, so let me not say that. I feel so invisible in this world, and that's okay, because I don't need the world to see me. I don't need the world to give me my worth, um, even though sometimes I still try to do that. Um, forgive me, Father. Uh, I need to know that God, and I know that God, I don't need to know that God loves me, and He does see my worth, and He does see me, so that's all that matters. So yeah, that's where I've been, and there's my little my little uh, soapbox. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in four hours for real. Hey everyone, thanks so much for being here. Please consider hitting that like button and subscribe. It's free, and it also helps these videos get to a greater audience. my room I got here like three hours ago but we have been fellowshipping on their amazing front porch I will put some clips right here right now so if you look on the little back legs you see the yellow stuff Man, that's a lot. That's quick. That means Oh, I see it. That's pretty cool. That is so cool. There's so much pollen. Yeah. Oh, yay. Yeah, and that's, that's their protein, right? Yeah, that's their protein source. These are sweet potatoes. I just stuck those in the ground. So, visiting Mark and Frida, I haven't seen them in over two years. It's so funny how God places people in your life exactly when you need them. I met Mark and Frida on a Facebook page a couple years back when I was building out my van and I needed advice for solar. A couple weeks went by, I received a message because I had been speaking with Mark about the solar and he said he had prayed on it and with his wife Frida and they invited me to come down and he helped me with my solar. Now, even years later, I'm here again and again, they have filled my very empty cup. It is so great to be around other believers in Christ. I just want to say thank you again, Mark and Frida, for inviting me to your five-acre beautiful heaven on earth. And thank you so much for being in a constant, active, loving part of my life. get cash from the Dollar Tree in this parking lot to go back to the market because they have liquid mushrooms like reshi and lion's tail and then they have this plant that I really want so here we go. How the beauty isn't she perfect? A lot of Christians are like the man who was carrying a heavy burden down a country road. The driver of a passing wagon offered him a ride and he joyfully accepted. But even after climbing aboard, the traveler kept his pack on his shoulders. He rode along, still hunched over under his heavy load. Why do you not lay down your burden? The driver asked. Oh, 
I feel that is almost too much to ask you to carry me, the man said. I could not think of letting you carry my burden, too. Like the man in the story, many of us continue to trudge beneath the accumulated weight this world puts on our shoulders. When all along, Jesus has been waiting to bear our load. In laying off your burdens, Hannah Whittall Smith observed, the first one you must get rid of is yourself. Your temptations as well as your temperament, your feelings as well as your fears. Just as truly as Christ came to bear your sins for you, has he come to live his life in you, Smith continues. You are as utterly powerless in the one case as in the other. You could as easily have gotten yourself rid of your own sins as you could now accomplish for yourself practical righteousness. Christ and Christ alone must do both for you, and your part in both cases is simply to give the thing to him to do and then believe that he does it. Faith. It really makes all the difference. We read you the verse from Ephesians 4, 22. He says, and I was led here because the verb renew is found here like the...